I'm Sebastian St. James. The market is down for the year, but which bank is doing the best and which bank is doing the worst? I'll let you know. Our contenders today are the Commonwealth Bank. Will it be the winner? Westpac on 44 Market Street. Will it be the ANZ Bank in its brilliant blue? Will it be NAB in its bright red? Or will it be Macquarie Bank, the investment bank? These are the contenders. One of them will be the winner and a lot of them will be the loser. So let's find out. This is a mysterious share graph. No, it's not. It is the Commonwealth Bank. And we can see that for a lot of the year, it's gone up, down. It's had a bit of a bad time in December, but lately in January, with the rest of the stock market, no doubt it has crashed and crashed seriously. How has it fared? Well, we need to compare that with the ASX 200. And we can see that for the first part of the year, the Commonwealth Bank actually out performed the index in the middle it basically equaled it and then after in the last part of year it's actually beaten the index just only just it has gone minus 6.675 the index is around nine and a half so well done if you beat the index i give you four points our next bank is westpac as you can see in the first part it was fairly stable a massive drop wow that is a big drop there in the last part of the year come back up recover it a bit and then in january yep yep the huge crash how has that gone in comparison to the market well let's take a look in the first part of the year it equaled the market then dropped substantially below the market. Wow, you had a bad middle third there, didn't you? Came up a bit, but no, could not beat the market and crashed, crashed, crashed. Wow, that is not a good performance. Minus 21%, the market round about minus nine. Hmm, okay, no points there. Our next bank is ANZ. Well, nice and steady right throughout the first half or two thirds. And then, yeah, we come down a little bit at the end. All right, well, that's looking interesting. How does that compare with the market? Well, there it is. Basically, it is the market. The market is ANZ Bank. You just buy that and you're done, according to that graph. Except for the last third, then it underperforms the market rather terribly. Wow, I'm glad we didn't buy that as the market then. And it is minus 18%. Hmm, okay, that's a bad ending. Coming up soon, I have some new videos which will analyze some ASX stocks in depth. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Our next bank is NAB. Well, it starts very low and then meanders up slightly. A great big peak there between March and June and wow, great big crash, obviously with the rest of the market. And how has that performed overall? Oh, well, we'll have to find out. Well, look at that. It's outperformed the market rather well. The market is in black. And yeah, it's doing really well. Wow, look at that peak. That peak, well, it did go up with the rest of the market, but it went up so much more and it has beaten the market overall. I'm very excited by this because it is up by 5% as opposed to the market, which is negative. If you owned NAB, you would be happy right now, at least for this year. Our last bank is Macquarie Bank. It's a bit different because it's an investment bank. Well, it started low. It's gone up, up. In the middle third, it's basically flat. And well, it's come down, as you can see there. How has that performed? Let's overlay the market there in black. And wow, it's done rather well. Started off the same. Well, of course, we always start off at the same point where the graphs are touching. And then basically it's skyrocketed, gone somewhat flat up down. But yeah, it's gone nowhere in the middle and has come down. So even the mighty Macquarie can be affected by the market, but it's outperformed it well and truly. And it is 8%. Wow. Okay. That's very good. As opposed to the market, which is negative. Wow. Okay. So that's all our five banks, which has done the best this year. Can you remember? You don't have to. I will overlay all the graphs. And here they are. Color, color, color. Wow. Okay. All the data is there if you know how to interpret it, but you don't have to because on to the next graph and oh, that's better. So the winner this time has been Macquarie Bank at the top there in the green. Oh, well done Macquarie. NAB has come second. Combank has come third. ANZ fourth and last. Unlucky last is Westpac. Oh, boo. You two down there, basically anything that's negative, I'm going to say boo to. So the bottom three, not good. The top two, both positive. So well done. That's just this year though. If you held these banks over the longer term, how would they have done?
Over the two years, we can see, wow, that's a lot of squiggles going on there. We see the winner is in dark blue, and that is NAB. So over the two year period, NAB has been the winner. Green, which is Macquarie, has done second. The CBA, which is in the colored, has done third. The bottom two though, ANZ, second bottom, and purple, which is Westpac. Yeah, that's, that's dismal. Although that's been 10%, to be honest. So the figures are okay, but that's over two years. All right, so we've got to sort of halve that. But 55%-ish over there on NAB. Yeah, wow, good performance. A little is good, more must be better. Show me the three-year graph. Well, here it is. They start bunched up and we see they separate as they get on closer. In green, it is the best. Green, of course, is Macquarie. Ooh, so the leader has changed over this period of time. We have Commonwealth. Well, that's second. I don't think it was second before. In the dark blue, NAB is third. The bottom two are ANZ, second worst. And in the purple, Westpac. Yeah, you haven't been doing very well, Westpac. Just note to management, you're being paid too much because you're underperforming even the other banks. Three years is good. Is there any better? Yes, there is five. So if you're a long-term holder of the banks, wow, look at that. One bank has outperformed and has basically, yeah, you don't need to own any of the others. According to this graph, it is green. What is green? It is Macquarie. Ah, oh, well done there. You've done well again. Secondly, it's been Commonwealth Bank. Thirdly in the blue is NAB, right? The bottom two, I don't think they've changed since the last graph. ANZ second worst. And in purple, Westpac. Don't even bother showing up, Westpac. Had you secreted all your money away in banking stocks for 10 years? This is the last graph. Which would have been the best? Well, here are your results. Oh, green. Yes, lovely. Macquarie Bank has really done well at just below 600%. Yeah, very impressive. And then, the also rands down the bottom as a straight line. Basically, we ignore those. Now we're going to tell you what they are. In the red and green, it is the Commonwealth Bank. Blue, NAB is third. And the last two, well, they're the same order as before, aren't they? They are ANZ in the black and in the purple, that is Westpac. Hmm, okay. Which bank do you bank with? Probably not Macquarie Bank. That's an investment bank, but the others you might. And if so, how? Did they perform? So if you put your money in certain stocks, you would have been very happy. In other stocks, not so much. But there we go. Do you know that Australian banks have dramatically lowered the amount that you can borrow? Go ahead and click on the video here.